answer some of your plant questions. Joining me this afternoon is Carrie Engel from Valley View Farms. Hello. Hi, Carrie, how are you? You're lovely. I mean, the weather is so wonderful outside. Oh, it's beautiful yeah. today, right? Good gardening day. I know. I wish we could carbon copy it for the rest <laughs> of the week. Well, I feel like I'm in the jungle behind this plant. What is this? This is a croton, and I love this plant. It's a good house plant, but we also use it outside a lot in the summertime. But it's great because it kind of has some of those fall colors. Yeah. And you can marry it up with a gold pot or an orange pot. And in this case, we used a red pot. It's just fun. I know. Not inside good colors. Now. I like it. Yeah. All right. So we have some questions for you. Let's get right to them. Sounds good. Weather related, a lot of them. How okay. can I protect my plants from frost? Everyone's talking frost. They really Ooh. are. Well, if you have things like tropicals, they should be in by now. If you okay. have your, like your hibiscus, mandevilla, any of your house plants should be in by now. Um, if you have annuals that are still doing pretty good, maybe and petunias will handle it fine in verbena, but I'm um, trying to think New Guinea and patience and begonias. You might want to cover them with a sheet or some okay. kind of like harvest guard. Do mums do okay? Mums will do fine. Great. They okay. may lose a little bit of bloom if it's a real heavy frost, but so far you're, you, you've been good. They look like sturdy yeah, ones. And trees and shrubs, they should be fine. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> All right, should I be mulching my garden right now? I would wait for the soil to get a little cooler. I'm okay. out where we are. We have had a couple light frost, but we, the soil temperature is still pretty warm. Um, so because we don't want to get any new growth going right now, go ahead and let let it go. Let the plants go a little dormant. Okay. Get the temperatures down a little bit, and then no more than two inches of mulch. Like you said, it's so tempting on days I like today. It's it so really nice is. Out. All right. So another question: Will my cannas and dahlias survive in the garden over winter? Those are both summer bulbs, so they get planted after all danger of frost is gone. I'm going to say you should probably be bringing them up now if you haven't. Um, so the cannas are those great big tall plants that get the red, yellow, orange flowers on them. But I would definitely be digging those up right you now. You teach me all my plant knowledge. Uh, there you you go. said Tom Tasselmeyer is coming for a cool. <laughs> right, Tom and Lori will be, his wife will be coming out on Saturday at noon and we're going to be opening up our 1,736 pound pumpkin and Tom has the honor of counting all the seeds. <laughs> oh, I can't even imagine. What's a guess of how many seeds there could possibly I'm be? I'm not saying. Mm -mm, I'd oh. be in trouble. There's been as few as one. What? One year there was only one. I mean, Tom mm. knows about how many there are, but I'm not telling. Are you going to roast them? Uh, I mean, if somebody wants, I'm sure. But we no, that's not true. We send all the pumpkin seeds back to the grower uh, so he can get the big pumpkin. Look next at me, year. just thinking about eating them. I know. <laughs> They're, <laughs> They're good size. Okay, They're good Carrie, size. Thank you so much. Thank Always you. nice. And